don't see every day. It wasn't the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man wreaking havoc across Maryland and Pennsylvania yesterday, uh, but it was close. It was this military blimp thing, uh, this giant radar-equipped air defense system broken loose from its mooring at the Aberdeen Proving Ground outside Baltimore, and then it floated away off to Pennsylvania, dragging a cable that was more than a mile long, smacking that cable into power lines, knocking out power for 30,000 people. It's interesting, a local Tea Party group in Maryland had been sounding the alarm for months about that blip, that giant military blip spying on people. Just this week, they've given a public talk about that military blimp being a zombie program. And then the day after they gave that talk, look what happened. You can't say nobody warned you, America. But now on, on day two of the zombie blimp apocalypse, uh, the story has gotten even more interesting than it was before, if that's even possible. In part, it's more interesting now because we still have no idea how or why this blimp thing happened. We reached out to the North American Aerospace Defense Command, aka NORAD, this afternoon, which is now investigating how the blimp got loose in the first place. NORAD told us there was no indication ahead of time that something like this might be about to happen. They said to us that this is an anomaly. Yeah. Uh, they did tell us the blimp's tether broke off somehow from the mooring station. So it wasn't the mooring itself that failed. The mooring is apparently fine, but the tether came off it or broke somehow. Officials say there's no sign of any foul play. The blimp appears to just have gone rogue somehow, some way they don't understand. Either the tether snapped or it became untethered somehow. We don't know, and the ordeal is not over yet, because even though the thing came down in Pennsylvania after that two-state slow-speed chase yesterday, trailed by F-16 fighter jets and the whole thing, even though the blimp came down in Pennsylvania, it didn't come all the way down. And so, today, continuing the theme of high-tech equipment having very low-tech problems, this morning, the National Guard decided the best way they could think of to bring the blimp all the way down, to deflate it the rest of the way, to get the last bits of helium out of it so it would fall to the ground completely. They decided the best thing to do would be to shoot it with guns. They fired 100 shots at this $235 million blimp, which is full of very sensitive, very important government surveillance slash radar stuff. Then after shooting it to death, uh, they rolled away part of it, they rolled away the tail, and now they say they're going to use a helicopter to try to pull the rest of the blimp and its parts and its trailing cable and stuff out of the trees where it remains stuck today after free-floating those hundreds of miles. For the record, I once wrote a book called Drift, the Unmooring of American Military Power. <laughs> <laughs>